Tell me when it's live. Not that it matters. Ooh, too much yellow. I see something. Something just happened. Ooh, it's starting stream. What? Stream complete. You are live. The internet can totally see you now, it says. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. That's a little on the creepy side. So I'm going to wait till somebody says they can see me because I'll just play until somebody says they can see me. So if you can see this, type on chat, I can see you because we're testing. Okay. La la la. Because I could just color all day. Ooh, I need more yellow there. What a color, what a color. That's not good. Is it public? Oh, no, somebody said I could see you. Look, Becky and Therese said they could see me. Oh, that's cool. Hey, ladies. So right now what we're doing, sorry, I got to finish this fish really quick. Right now what we're doing is we're just testing again. This is our second YouTube live testing. So we're just testing to see if um, you can see us and if we can see you chatting, because obviously I can't see you at home because I know some of you are in your pajamas, which I'm actually not in my pajamas right now, which is pretty impressive. Um, so Ken and I are just in our office and uh, we're testing the YouTube. We have two cameras this time. We're gonna try that. And we have a couple things we're gonna talk about. So, oh, Becky said, hello, hi, Becky. So I can see what you're chatting, which is really exciting. And I'm gonna move it like this so I can see. Uh, so Kenny, just so you know, my screen is um, frozen. So I can't see myself moving on my screen, just so you know. But that's just not, I mean, that doesn't really matter. Uh, he says, yeah. <laughs> what? I can see the chat, but I only see three people. I mean, two people, really, because Therese, is one and Becky um, posted twice. So um, this is interesting that I only have two people. How many people are, how many people do you show, Kenny? Do you show more than two? Four. Four, okay, if you're watching, you have to say hi, Bye. Stephanie, or say something so we know that you're there because, um, you know, right? You gotta tell us if you're there. So just type in the little chat. I think there's like a little spot for you to type. Just say hi, and then that means I'll know you're there. So that means I'm not, I know I'm not talking to myself, which I always talk to myself, so it's nothing new. But uh, we just are trying to test our new YouTube channel live stuff. So Ken had to buy all this fancy equipment and stuff, even though we do videos every single all the time. Uh, we had to buy all the special stuff for YouTube live, which is really weird. Um, you know, go figure. But, uh, okay, Sheila, hi. See, another person. I do have fans. I mean, not fans, friends. <laughs> Did you, uh, hey, ladies, can you tell me if you got a notification that we went live? Did you get, like, an email? Or does it just, like, pop up a little chat, like a little box pop up on your screen? Or how did you know that we were doing this live? That's our question. We're trying to figure that out because, like, are you getting emails saying that we did something live, or we're doing something live, or we're live streaming? or a little pop-up window come up on your computer somehow or your iPad or something, how did you find out? So can you, um, if anybody could type that and let me know how you knew, because I know you just weren't sitting on YouTube waiting like this. <laughs> so tell us how you found out, um, because that would be great. So right now, Kenny, do you want to switch cameras so you can sh show them what I've been working on right now? So, um, so Ken has this special little thing that he has like this new thing. We're practicing for our online class that's gonna happen in May. And, oh, see, look, you can't see, whoops, move back. Okay, so this is what I've been working on. I'm coloring because Ken had um, an audio issue and he had to call our, our video tech audio guy, or I don't know what, he, he had to call Justin. So uh, Justin and Ken were FaceTiming, so I just pulled out some markers and my, uh, my pens, my watercolors, and I've been coloring my little fishies. So here, I'll bring them up to you so you can see. So there's my little fishies, I've been coloring. Oh, I can't see Kenny because you you're looking at emails. Um, but see, you can see I've been starting to color and um, I'm just having fun waiting for Ken to finish and he finished. So, okay, oh, people are starting to talk to me. So somebody got an email notification. Hi, crafty lady 2016. She says, OMG, I'm here, Stephanie. Hello, hello. Uh, you were not crafty. Wait, what is it? Lady J, is that what it is? Lady J crafty, you were not actually waiting like that. <laughs> That's funny though. Um, 
Oh, Cheryl Ann got a, a, got a pop-up on her iPad. Fantastic, that's awesome. And then Therese said, I was on YouTube and saw you live. Woo, crazy, huh? So again, those of you that are just joining us because we're getting more numbers now. Hi, Ricky. Uh, we're testing our Facebook, I'm sorry, not Facebook, ooh, bad word now because I'm on YouTube and they're like, they hate each other. <laughs> okay, so, okay, they don't hate, they don't like each other. Um, we're on YouTube Live, we're testing this because our on, our live online class is coming up in May. What is it, May 14th, Kenny? Is that right? I think. He's, he's like, he's not sure either. We just go by day. So like, all I know is tomorrow I'm getting on an airplane. I'm going to Orlando tomorrow. 15th, May 15th is our online class. It's a Tuesday afternoon. So we're testing all of the equipment and Ken had, like I said, Ken had to buy a whole bunch of all random stuff. It's funny, if I look over there, I can see myself like in 12 different squares because he has different camera angles and stuff. It's really weird. So we're just learning and we're having fun and we thought we would do a little Facebook Live today. Um, today is no makeup uh, Monday, but really today's Tuesday. So um, I have my days all mixed up. Uh, we have a very weird life, I'll be honest. It. Uh, because we work for ourselves, so we're always working because we love to work. It's not real work for us. We love to work. And so, like, we'll take a Tuesday afternoon off, but we'll work all the other days. You know, like, actually, after church, we go to church, and then we work the afternoon because we taped videos. Um, today's Tuesday. Okay, Sunday. See, I mean, we don't even know what day it is. But all I know is I am getting on an airplane tomorrow morning um, to Orlando, which is very exciting. And I'm not going to Disney World because we're too busy, but we're gonna see some friends there and we're going to, we have dinner plans with a couple people I'm excited about. Oh, and something exciting happened yesterday. How many of you have heard of Tiffany from Totally Tiffany? Okay, hello. She is my new best friend. I adore her. Guess what she did yesterday? This is the most crazy thing in the world. She lives in Washington. I live in Orange County, California. She got on a plane yesterday morning, flew down and visited with me for the day and then flew home last night. Okay, is that awesome or what? That, that girl, I adore her. Uh, for some reason, we've never really ever connected in the past. And the last couple of weeks, we started like visiting and talking and, and now we're talking about other stuff and now we're doing talking about this and we're talking about this and we have like parallel lives. I mean, we're, I think we're like, you know, what, what's that? Like, uh, a sister from another mother or something like that because seriously, she and I were separated at birth, I think, because we, ha we are so much alike. It's so awesome. So I'm very excited about that. We have some fun things that we're talking about and you just never know what's gonna happen. Um, we always do some fun stuff and I wasn't even planning on talking about that. So let's see, so somebody's saying hi, we can see you. Oh, somebody said hi, Ken. I saw you earlier when you were trying to get YouTube live for the first time. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, every, he does exist. I don't talk to myself when I'm talking to him. Uh, so Dee says she can see me. Uh, let's see. Oh, Becky says she was watching YouTube on one of my other videos and she found out. That's fantastic. So let's see. I have a list. Look, I made a little list for myself of what I'm going to talk about. So Ken, you could go to camera two right now if you wanted to see because like I'm holding up something. So I thought you were going to test that. Oh, okay, so look, see, I made my little list of things I was gonna talk about. And so, let's see. Oh, I just lost myself on my own camera. How come my, on my screen I lost myself? Oh, well, so this is my list. And let's see, oh, Anaheim Pop-Up Shop. We just announced this. Um, we're having an Anaheim Pop-Up Shop in, at the Embassy Suites in Orange slash Anaheim. And that is gonna be Friday the 18th of May. Now, those of you in Southern California, I know you've probably been to our store before in Laguna Hills or when it was in Irvine. We're doing a pop-up shop in Anaheim because we're so sad that Scrapbook Expo was not in Anaheim this year. They moved it to Pomona and we were really sad about that. And so Ken said, let's do one in Anaheim so we can see all our friends. So we're gonna do a pop-up shop on the 18th. It's a Friday, May 18th. Now the important thing for you to know is you do um, wanna buy a ticket. It's a VIP event. It costs $30 but you're getting a goodie bag that's valued at over $60, okay? We are asking that you only buy one ticket a person so and adults only, okay? So, um, you know, don't bring your kid because, you know, then somebody else won't get it. We have limited seats, that's why we're saying that. Uh, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna demo for about two hours. I'm gonna demo all these new products. I'm also gonna demo what I, sh what I teach around the nation. And the class that I teach around the nation, those of you that aren't in California, um, 
I teach a, I'm, I'm, I have a 2018 class and it's called car, uh, taking, card, taking your cards up a notch. And so it's turning a stand-up card into a Z-fold card, a stand-up card into a gate-fold card, how to make a shaker box card, uh, inside-out step-up card. You get this cool brochure thing, booklet that Sizzix made for me. It's like 25 pages. And it has all these full, totally cool, awesome things in it. So that class that I teach for 2018 is uh, I'm teaching it around the nation. So this week I'm teaching it in Orlando. Next week, am I teaching next week, Ken? Where are we next week? Oh, we're in Milwaukee, Wisconsin the next week. I'm not teaching there, sorry. We tried, but we couldn't get in. And then the next week, Novi, Michigan, I'm teaching there also. So if you go to a convention this year, I'm teaching it. But if you're in Anaheim or in Southern California, I'm gonna be teaching it at their pop-up shop. However, at the pop-up shops, and we're gonna have one in Seattle later this year, but in the, at the pop-up shops, the hour class, I do about a two hour class. So I get to go really explain everything, really, really show you, and it's fantastic. It's really fun. People learn a ton. So that's exciting. So we're doing the pop-up shop. Um, so I can cross that off my list. Uh, Orlando, this Friday and Saturday, which I'm very excited about that. I have a dinner date on Thursday, and I have a dinner date on Friday, and then I fly home Saturday. And oh yeah, I'm teaching classes there. <laughs> and we'll be at the expo. <laughs> So that's going to be really fun. Club members, of course, you get the club discount in the booth, so you better come see us. And also, if you're not a club member, you can join at the show and get a freebie join a uh, freebie uh, sign-on bonus gift. Actually, I think you get two. And if you're a club member, you get a cool club button, which is very important, most important part of the whole day, right? Also, tomorrow is the 25th. Um, I should check in and see if anybody's asking me questions. Am I teaching in Atlanta? Yes, I'm teaching in Atlanta. I will be there. Um, I'm not doing the class, but I will see you in Novi, Michigan. Awesome, Becky. I will see you there. You should. If I don't know if there's any openings in the class, Becky, but you should look into the class because um, the goodies you get alone are like really exciting. Oh, oh, and I didn't even. Oh my gosh, sorry, I totally forgot. Wait, where is it, Kenny? Oh, I hit it. Okay, if you take one of my classes this year, you get an exclusive pudgy that no one can buy until the end of next year. Okay, and you get it free because it's included in the cost of the VIP event or in the cost of the class. And I'm not even going to tell you what it is, but it's an exclusive pudgy you cannot buy until the end of next year. And it's really cute. I've gotten a lot. It's on the other side of this card. Woo! -hoo -hoo. You can't see it, but it's really exciting. And you get the stamps, of course. This is just the die sample that I had there, but it's very exciting. So, Becky, you might want to sign up for the class if there's any spots left. Just saying. Uh, Stephanie, you need to come to Manhattan closer to where I am. Um, I w yeah, but uh, Manhattan's very expensive. You live, you must be rich. You live in a nice area. <laughs> um, the closest we get to Manhattan is New Jersey. And hello, I know New Jersey's just like right across the little river you got going there. So just go to New Jersey. Just get on the little boat and we'll go say hi to the Statue of Liberty and just keep. Does the Statue of Liberty have a name, Kenny? Is, does she have like a real name? Okay, I don't know. Anyway, just go right on the little boat and come see us in New Jersey. And I will be teaching classes in New Jersey, so I expect to see you there. Uh, hi, Sheila. So let's see. I talked about the Anaheim pop-up shop. I talked about Orlando this week and Milwaukee next week and Novi, Michigan the next week. And then... Um, <laughs> oh, she says, I, I work there. I don't live there. I'm not rich either. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then um, also tomorrow is the 25th. We have on our site going on the surprise sale section some extra good flash sales. So I'll be honest with you because I'm only talking to my extra close friends right now because it's not everybody. Uh, I have to, I have to like go through my mind and say what I could say what I'm not allowed to say. Uh, so we have some extra inventory of some items that I need to um, close. I, I have a lot of extra inventory on some items because the person at our company that order, used to order inventory, uh, I, was, I used to be in charge of purchasing. Uh, well, yeah, you should never have the creative person in charge of ordering. Because I go, oh yeah, I love that. I need 10,000 of those. Well, yeah, obviously you don't need 10,000. <laughs> so we have some extra products that we need to move. So you need to go check out our surprise sale section because I went in there and I lowered some prices, like a lot. 
So you need to go check that out for the next, like, I think it's 48 hours. So go check that out. I'm just saying. Not now, after, our, after we're talking, done talking here, okay? Um, you already have plans for that day? Oh, my word. Okay. Um, oh, another New York. Let's see. Uh, so flash sale items starting, like, right now. Uh, oh, okay. This is a public service announcement from the Stamps of Life channel. Did you know that dogs can be allergic to bees? So this is what happened. The other day, well, now, how long ago, Kenny, was it? It was like four weeks ago now, right? It's been a while. I don't think I've talked about this yet. So about a four weeks ago, a month ago, we were out for a walk, Ken and I and the dog, Cookie, and uh, she got stung by a bee. Now, it was a dead bee, but apparently it's still stung, or maybe it was dying, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, it stung her. And the only way I knew she got stung by a bee is because she started limping, and I'm like, what the heck are you doing? So I picked her up, and I saw the bee stuck to her paw, on the bottom of her paw. So I picked it up and I threw it across the room. I never did find that bee later, which is weird. Okay, so I threw it across the room, and she was like, whoa, acting like really weird. I'm all, oh, you're okay, it's fine, you're fine. I didn't think it stung her, because obviously you can't see really the stingers, because her paws are so little. Well, she jumped up on the couch, and she started to act a little weird. Kenny, did she throw up on the couch? Yeah, so she threw up on the couch almost within about 30 seconds of me pulling the bee sting off of her. Then I'm like, oh my gosh, that's weird. So then we took her outside on the grass and like we thought maybe she had to go potty or something, which was weird because we had just taken her for a walk. And she like started to try to go potty and then she just laid down in the grass. And she like really never lays down in the grass. And we're like, that's weird. Long story short, because this goes on a long time and I know you don't have all day. Long story short, the dog is allergic to bees. <laughs> So luckily, we have a vet near our house that's almost walking distance. And so I jumped in the car and I drove over there and I walked in with the dog. By now the dog's like this, limp, not moving, not doing anything, just laying there, dead weight, literally dead weight. And I'm carrying her in and I said, I don't have an appointment, but my dog was just stung by a bee and something's wrong. They, this vet, I'm telling you, was the, I'm changing to this vet for the rest of my life. This vet, and, her, and, the, and his technician grabbed the dog and took her, and they go, have you been here before? And I said, no. The receptionist said, stay here and give me your information. They took the dog in the back. They said, where'd she get stung? I said, the bottom of her foot. They took her in the back, they just took her. And so they're like doing all their doctor stuff or whatever, and the lady's getting my information. She's like, don't worry, we're gonna take care of your dog. And she's typing everything in, and I'm like, ah, freaking out. They come back and they literally had in their hand this little dot, it was the stinger. So they're like, it's okay. They had to put her on steroids. They had to give her an IV to flush her system. And we had to leave her there. Kenny, how long did we leave her there? Like four or five hours or something? Mm -hmm. We left her there like four or five hours. They wanted to keep her longer, but we had somewhere else to go and they said that she'd be okay. Long story short, the dog is officially allergic to bees. Yeah, so your dog can be allergic to bees. So don't let bees go near your dog. My dog is eight years old and I just found out my dog is allergic to bees, which is kind of crazy. So yes, she is okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, where is Cookie? I don't know. I think she's on the stairs around the corner. Uh, but she is fine now. She is a stinker binker as always, but she's fine. But just know whenever you see a bee, your dog could be allergic to bees. So we need to get like one of those EpiPens so I can stab her with it next time she gets stung. Um, I'm kidding. But anyway, okay, I'm not kidding. Okay, uh, let's see. Hi from Richmond. Hi, Teresa. Watch all your videos. Thank you. I love you. Oh, well, I love you too. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see what else we're going to talk about. Oh, so I was coloring today because I saw this one, and oh, Carter made this for me. Now, this is not my nephew, Carter. This is actually um, our web designer's son made this for me, and look at how cute that is. He watercolored these, and so he inspired me to watercolor my own, so I started playing with mine while I was waiting. And so this was made by Carter and people send me cards and it's so sweet and so I thought you know what I'm going to show you some of the cards people have sent me because we got to practice going back and forth from video to video. So this is one by Carter and Carter's I think nine. This is not my Carter it's Car uh, Amy's Carter. So he's nine. This is a cute one. 
And I'm gonna try to say who made these for me. I think this is Sandy, but look at how cute this is. And she, and it says, we love the whole enchilada. <laughs> because I always say that, right? I always say it's the whole enchilada. And so they liter she literally took pictures of an enchilada and cut out my donut. <laughs> and then, what are you trying, right there? Is that better? Okay, and then I'm gonna open it up and you can see the cute little donuts that she cut out out of the Mexican food. I love it, I love it. So that's fun. Oh, this is a pretty one. This one is by Amy. Amy made this one that says thank you, and this is one of our drop-ins, which I really love. And she wrote me a nice note. I don't, I'm not gonna read the notes to you because they could be personal. Oh, there's a cute one. This one is by, this. Um, Sandra made this, and it's actually a little candy. You can see, oh, Kenny, what do you, why do you keep making, moving, moving, what do you want me to do? This? Well, you, you have it, you're in charge of the camera. You gotta just move the camera. You can move the camera. Okay, so look, there's a little candy in there. And she made this for Kingston's uh, a baby shower, I think, baby shower. But isn't that cute? Sandra and Virginia made that. And I've saved it all this time, Sandra. Uh, ooh, here's a cute one. Uh, this one's by Carolyn Frederick, and isn't that cute? It's a cute little stand up. Step up, step up with a little snowman. This was her Christmas card, so I, I, I keep them. I really do. They're like in a bucket in my room, so whenever I want to, I just go look at them. And oh, here's another Christmas card one that I have, and it's the cute little nativity set. Why are you shaking your head no? I, Ken, Ken doesn't speak. I am looking at that camera. Ken does not speak, but he has a lot of non-visual, I mean, he has a lot of visual cues. Like a lot of times he'll go like this. And I'm like, what? Or he'll go. My favorite one is though, and this is my kids will tell you this. My favorite one is the only way you know Ken is mad. This is the only way you know their dad is mad. Ken, my husband. The only way you know he's mad, and they, my kids do the best impression. He took it off my face, put it back on my face, you punk. <laughs> he goes like this, he goes. <sighs> That's how you know Ken is mad. When Ken does the little sigh and the little tongue and the little lip, you know he is mad. That's the only way you'll ever know Ken is mad. Ken, I, have you ever raised your voice? You've probably raised your voice once, probably. He said a bad word for the first time in like six years yesterday. No, not yesterday. It was about a week ago, huh? Right? Now he's not admitting it. He, he's, he's like really, he's not like, a, I was gonna say you're not like a normal guy. <laughs> but he's awesome, he's awesome. But isn't that sweet? That's how you can tell, that's the only way you can tell he's mad. So he doesn't lose his temper, which is very impressive. Okay, let's go back to our normally scheduled um, card share. So this is my nativity card set. And, oh, you like that better? Okay. So this is my nativity card set. And who made this one for me? Oh, this one, oh, this one, oh, Leslie made this one. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And, oh, here's a cute one with my cute little owl. I love that. And um, somebody made this for me. Oh gosh, people sign their name, it's so sweet. Oh, this is Ashley. Oh, oh, I'm gonna read this because this one's really cute. Hi Stephanie, my name is Ashley and I'm a Christian as well. I love your stamp sets and paper, etc. And guess what? I come from a family of Stephanie's because my middle name is Stephanie. Ashley, you're awesome. And Stephanie is my grandma's name too. And my most favorite color is pink too. So I enjoyed making your card and, and how can I forget to say happy birthday? Love, Ashley. Oh, Ashlyn. I'm sorry, Ashlyn. And Ashlyn, uh, I think, I want to, if I remember correctly, I think she's 10. I'm pretty sure. I, I feel like I remember that. Okay. Isn't that cute, though? I, I love cards from kids because they're the best. Okay. Here is a fun one by CKAZ. Does it sign? Oh, but wow, this one's a fancy one. So it says, ha uh, have a whaley good time. And then open it up. Wishing you a whaley good birthday. Isn't that fun? I love that. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Kenny, I, okay, well, I'm like looking at myself over there. You need to, you know what, Kenny, when we do this for real, you need to move that camera, I mean that TV screen over there so I look right there and see myself at the same time. Because I'm looking over there to see myself, but I know I'm supposed to be looking here. I know, we're practicing. This is practice. <laughs> you were a pro. I'm not a pro. What made you think I was a pro? Yes, I was on QVC, but that doesn't count. Because I, because there's no red light on this one. So at QVC, they tell you, okay, when the red light goes on that camera, you look at that camera. When the red light goes on that camera, you look at that camera. So Ken, huh, no red lights on yours. This is a cute one. Uh, it, I don't have the name on this one, that, who gave me this one. But this was they gave me something inside, and I'm sorry, I don't remember what you gave me. But isn't that cute? It's a little bag with the little tea stuff on it. 
Oh, this one's actually from the same person, Becky. This is from Becky. So Becky made this, and look at this. Thank you, happiness. And she wrote me a little message on the inside. I love getting cards, you guys. I really, really do. It's, it's just like happy mail. Okay, so here's one that says thank you, thank you. And we're going to open it up, and guess what? It's a pop-up. Dun, 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 dun. And, oh, I, they didn't sign their name on this one. Some people don't like to sign their name because they're shy. And you know what? It's cute. But, oh, wait. I think this one's from um, Casey because she also gave me a picture. She Look, she wrote a little message. Isn't this awesome? She typed a little message, and then she die cut it using one of my dies. And then she gave me a picture of her little dog, which is Bailey. And Bailey looks a, little, a lot like Cookie. They're probably related. They're probably cousins. So we have that. Um, but it's fun. People will give me... Uh, uh, cards and stuff at conventions and I hope you if you ever give me a card thank you so much however I don't like to open them at the convention because I don't have time to really appreciate it so what I do is I put them all together and I put take them on the plane with me and on the way home when I'm absolutely positively exhausted because we've worked like the last 72 hours straight I get on the plane and you know how you have to kind of wind down a little because usually we run to get on our planes to go home. And I sit down and I go through the cards that people give me. And I am telling you, my heart bursts for joy. And I'm reminded why I'm so tired and how, why it's so awesome. So if you've ever given me a card, just know that I have opened it on, usually on the plane 90% of the time. Sometimes I fall asleep before I can't, but I usually open them on the planes. And it, I just, I'm telling you, I love doing that. So thank you. Okay, here's a fun one. This one's awesome. This was by Vicki Clark. Oh, this is Vicky. Can you remember Vicky? And we're going to open this up and look at this. This is awesome. It's Diet Coke because, hello, you know, um, yeah, yeah, Diet Coke. Mm -hmm. How cute is that? It, it was a birthday card. And she said, Stephanie, I hope your day is amazing, which thank you, Vicky. Here's a cute one, a snowman one on my triple circle card. I'm triple circle flip it, which is fun. And she wrote a nice message. Oh, who did this one? Amy did this one. Oh, look at this one. This one's fantastic. Look at this one. So this one is watercolored. And actually, that guy, I think, was supposed to go, but he doesn't go. And this was from Isabella made this. And Isabella is age 11. Card makers, we got to start them young. Thank you for those of you that are starting our card makers young. So isn't that cute? Good job, huh? Isabella, you're awesome. Here's a fun one. Look how pretty that is. Watercolor. I love that. I use, OK, just so you know, this is what I was doing earlier. I was watercoloring these. What I do is I take a piece of acetate. See, here's my acetate. I lay that down, and then I color on the acetate. And then I use my water brushes. So I pick up, oh, that one, I, I kind of got that one soaking. But then I pick up that ink, and then I color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to color that in. Now, I want you to know that when you do this, it's not going to look very exciting. But when you're done, when it dries, you're going to go, dang, I'm an artist. Seriously, that's what happens to me every single time. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like this. And then after it dries, I'm like, oh, my word, I'm in heaven. So this is how I do all my coloring now. I always used to say I'm not a colorer, but I've decided I really am. I'm a, well, I'm not a colorer. I'm a painter, which painters are even awesomer, huh? And look how easy this is. And it's all watercolors. Watercolors, you can't go wrong. It's fantastic. So definitely try this, okay? So that's how she did those. But look at these pretty cherries that Kathy made. And I love that. Don't they look good enough to eat? Actually, we have blueberries in the, in the um, refrigerator. I think we're going to have to go get some blueberries pretty soon. <laughs> okay, here is one. This is, oh, this is created by, and it doesn't say, oh, Tracy Walker. So look at this. So you, it says, you are, you're one of a kind. Dun, 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 dun. Ready? Do, 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 do. It's a step up, a stand up card. Dun, 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 dun. It stands up for for display. I like that. <laughs> Ken caught me again looking at the other camera. And, and oh, she, she, Tracy said, so, so nice. She said, Stephanie, your products and humor are amazing. And she said, oh, she said she found me at the Great Lakes Mega Meet. Well, I hope I see you again in a couple weeks, Tracy. That's fantastic. Um, let's see. Oh, Jenny's here. She says, what? Sorry, I up. Oh, you messed up? Ken said, sorry, he messed up. Okay. Uh, oh, somebody, Ellen's here from Pennsylvania. When were you on QVC? Good question, Therese. Ken, you're bringing up history, and I don't remember. When was I on QVC? It was, oh, well, I was on it for Ink Boutique, so that would have been 10 years ago. Oh, my gosh. Time flies. So, yes, 10 years ago, um, they don't have crafts on anymore, QVC. But, uh, yes, I was on QVC uh, quite a few times for com uh, quite a few companies. I did that a lot for a while. And then I also was on QVC in the U.K., and I was also on a shopping channel in Canada. Okay, 
So, oh, this is a cute one, and this is by Isabella, age 11. Again, look at that rainbow. You know I love rainbows. You know I love my rainbows. Isabella, you're awesome. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at this one. Okay, pudgies and sharks. You cannot go wrong with pudgies and sharks, right? Look at that. Look at that. Have a fantastic day. And Kathy made this one. I love this one. I love this one. I love it. I love sharks. Not really. But did I tell I'm afraid of sharks. Did I ever tell have I ever told my afraid of sharks story, Ken? Okay, let me tell you the afraid. Oh, I have to he said I have to save stories. Someday someday next time we do another one of these, somebody has to remind me to talk about sharks. Okay. Now, here we go. Here is a cute little uh from Megan. Megan made this. This is um my cute little flamingos, which I love. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Every time he catches me, he's looking at the wrong camera. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna stick out my tongue. Okay, this one. Oh, who made this? Oh, there's a fly in here. Um, this one doesn't have a name. Oh, sad. But look at how cute this little step up card. I mean, uh, this gosh box card is. And we even got some t some Tim stamps in there also. Isn't that cute? Ken's laughing. He's like, "What's Tim doing in there?" <laughs> it's okay. We love Tim. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, oh, here's another shark. Dun 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 dun. dun. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you're not gonna let me tell the shark stories. Okay. Oh, this one is by Lois, and it's a shaker. Shaker, shaker, shaker. Okay. Here's one. Oh, who made this one? This one's a pretty one. Kate's cards. She has it. Oh, Katie O'Brien. She has. Uh, look at this. Look at this. We're gonna zoom in on this one. She has it. Uh, ex uh, I made that. Well, we made this personalized stamp for her. It says, it says created by Kate's cards. Isn't that cute? Do you have a personalized stamp? Tell me now. Hello, oh, Meg, you said you're sorry I'm late. Hey, you know what, sweetheart? We didn't even know we were gonna do this today, so you're not late. And you know what, if you've missed any of this and, and you seriously are crazy like I am, feel free, you, afterwards, when we're done here, you can go back and watch in the beginning. And this is just a test of our, um, st the Stamps of Life station. Uh, I should go ahead and go back and explain what we're doing. Ken has two cameras now and we're going back and forth. He's literally switching live. He had to buy the special equipment. We're getting ready for our online, first online um, event class that we're doing in May. And uh, we're just testing the camera. So we thought, you know what, let's just do a Facebook Live, I mean, not a Facebook, a YouTube Live. We wanted to see how many people we could get involved just to see so this is like a special little surprise it's nothing we're not doing anything too exciting I'm showing off a lot of cards that people have given me uh, I'm just talking about a couple things the next couple weeks we're gonna be in Orlando Milwaukee Wisconsin and also uh, Novi Michigan we added classes in Minnesota. Ooh, and oh surprise guess what we found out we got into Minnesota St. Paul, Minnesota. We're going to St. Paul, Minnesota, and they just added classes. So my classes were added late, but if, you, if you're in that area and you're gonna go to the St. Paul, Minnesota uh, convention, go to the scrapbookexpo.com and you can sign up for my classes there. And you're getting the pudgy that I'm not allowed to show you that is exclusive to the class until next year. And you get it free as part of your admission to the class. So look, ooh, you can't even see what it is, can you? Ha ha ha, tricky tricky. So, Kathy, I love this. I mean, Kate, Katie, I love this. This is beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and I have two more cards. This one is by Gina. Uh, oh, she's looking forward to seeing me at the Orlando Expo. In two days, Gina. I'm gonna see you in two days, which is very exciting. Um, look at that, is it's a flip it card. Dun, 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 dun. Flip it cards are fantastic. Okay, and last but not least, I got this card the other day, and this is by Donia. And she has an exclusive stamp also. Look at that. She has a um, she has a personalized stamp. Can you get into it? There you go. There you go. Look at that. Pretty awesome. Do you have a personalized stamp? Okay. And look, hello, look at that. Who can name what stamp set this is? Da na 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 na. Oh, hi from Washington State. Who knows what stamp set this is? Like my sweater. Thank you. I got it on the internet. I get everything on the internet. I even buy my toilet paper on the internet. Uh, Stephanie, why don't you do your monthly gallery on YouTube? You know, show the cards that people have made on YouTube. Yeah, I'm kind of doing that right now, right? Right? Yeah. But um, I could do it more often. If you guys got to send me more cards, because <laughs> this is all I have. So if you guys start sending me cards, I'll start showing more cards, because I think it's fun. And I love cards too, by the way. So, okay, is anybody gonna tell? Oh, Lisa, you are the big winner. 
Lisa K, you're right. It is crazy for daisies or crazy. Yeah, crazy than the number four daisies. Yes, it's one of my favorite stamp sets, especially after seeing this card. It's an oldie but a goodie, but you know what? It's a goodie, let me tell you. That's fantastic. So those are the cards. Oh, and here, look, this, I was doing some more coloring. Uh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Oh, there, there. Ooh, pretty. So I'm telling, talking about my water coloring. I talked about how I'm coloring. I did, I'm working on my fishies right now because, you know, fishies are awesome. And I can't remember what this came from. Oh, this was from, um, we taped another 30 second card. And I think that's, is that from the 30, no, it's not from the 30 second card, it's from the Kit Club. Because um, I wasn't able to tape the 30 second card, we have to tape it later this month. Well, thank you very much, Kenny. Is there anything that I missed that you want me to talk about? Because I have people, I have, I have 34 people watching. Um, oh, somebody's gonna see me in Denver. Um, you wish I would do a pop-up shop in, um, Colorado. Yeah, Leanna, but see, we're already going to be there. So the expo people don't like us when we do like a pop-up shop while we're already there. So we have to do it at the expo, but yeah, but we'll be there. Um, that's not what I used, uh, that not what I, what you meant. You used to do it before. Oh, Kenny, I know what she means. She means the um, galleries of all the people that post. Oh, that's, uh, thank you for that point. I will mention that to Kenny again. Hi, Lucy. Lucy said, this is Lucy. So hi, Lucy. Hi, Stephanie. What type of paper do you use for coloring? <laughs> Are you ready for this? Our white cardstock. That's it. Nothing special. No, I mean, it's special because it stamps the white cardstock, but it's just regular white cardstock. Powdered sugar white cardstock. That's what I use. That's all I use. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, I'm going to work on this one. Oh, my, my camera like cut out. But um, I'm going to be working on this one. And notice how this one's lighter, because I did these in the pigment, the archival ink, and I did this one as a second generation. So I stamped this one, and then I didn't re-ink, and I stamped here, because I wanted to see what this one looks like colored. So I'm excited about that. Uh, does everyone that comes to the event get to meet me? Heck yeah! I ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm just there. I'm just there to visit. And every once in a while, I help people find stuff. The best though is when people don't know who I am and they ask if I work in the booth and they ask me like a question and stuff. That's awesome. I love that. That's fun. Uh, but yes, of course you get to come hang out with me and talk. And, and sometimes people bring me Diet Cokes. <laughs> Which is really awesome. <laughs> Who, Marty, the last ex, the, no, the last pop-up shop we did. Where, Kenny? Where? What city was that in? Columbus. Columbus. We were in Columbus, Ohio, like two weeks ago, and Marty brought me a Fountain Diet Coke. Bless you. She went to McDonald's, and McDonald's has like the best Diet Coke. I don't like their straws because they're too wide, but they have the best Diet Coke, and it was like a dollar. So that's like because you know, McDonald's has dollar cokes, which is Diet Cokes, Diet Coke. Fantastic. Um, you can't, uh, you can't, well, Lucy says she can't wait till um, I come to New Jersey. Me either. I haven't been in New Jersey in a long time. And Ken said that you guys have some new restaurants there. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> um, what, uh, for water coloring also. Yes. I, oh yes. I use these for water coloring because I use my water brushes and I just color on the acetate and then I take the uh, ink from the watercolor brush. And then I'm using this ink of mine. It is the archival dye ink. So you want to use the archival dye ink, and that is what you're going to use um, when you watercolor. Okay. Oh, and my iPad. Okay, let's see. Um, you'll. Oh, dragonfly just said I was going to have it. I'm going to get a diet coke in Lancaster. I'll bring you a few. Wow, you're rocking it. That is awesome. I appreciate it. I just need one. I just. It just like seriously. You, there's nothing better than a diet coke. Seriously. Mmm. Cheryl Ann says. Hope you can come to South Florida in 2019. What's in South Florida? They don't have shows there anymore. They don't have shows there anymore, Shirlan? What happened? Orlando. You've got to come to Orlando. I'm flying all the way from California, so you could do like a little road trip up the, up, up the, up the state, right? In Florida? This week, this week, just hop in the car. Leave now and you'll get there in time, right? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to be in New Jersey. When am I going to be in New Jersey this year, Ken? In August. In August. I'll be in New Jersey in August. So um, I don't go to New Jersey every year. So if you're in that area, go in August because I can't tell you I'm going to be there next year. So I'll be in August this year. I mean, in Jersey this year. I'll be in Houston. I'll be in um, Arlington. I'll be in Sacramento. Can he help me out? Seattle. Uh, 
Mesa, Arizona. Denver, Denver Colorado. Sacramento. I already said Sacramento. Ontario. Ontario, California. Anaheim, California. Orlando, Florida. Kansas City, Missouri. Atlanta, Atlanta Georgia. Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Lots of places. I do not sleep. It is true. Actually, I woke up at 5.35 this morning and I couldn't go back to sleep, even though I did take a sleeping pill because I haven't been sleeping lately because I have too much up here. And when I have too much up here, I can't sleep. It's really bad. It's really bad. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, somebody said, Lucy says she's going to come um, see us and see Ken and Stephanie. Thank you. You're going to see Kenny. Um, somebody, somewhere in New York. Yeah. Oh, I know, you just gotta come to New Jersey. <laughs> uh, let's see. Cheryl Ann says she's gonna try to make it. Awesome, and if you do, you come up to me at the show and say, I was on your YouTube Live and I, you said to come up here and I did, okay? You gotta like remind me who you are because I love I loved to um, connect it in my brain. Um, I'll have to plan Jersey too since I live right on the border of Pennsylvania, Jersey, and Delaware. Awesome. Sweet, Dragonfly. Now, you guys, you know what? I'm, I'm noticing you guys all have names on the chat, but I don't know your real name. So I'm going to have to say Dragonfly Dreams. Cool, because I don't know your first name. I do remember that um, Lucy is Love Christ because um, I just remember in my brain, but I won't always remember that. So, um, oh, Lucy says she's coming. Yes, awesome. So we're excited. This is so much fun. And um, those of you that are still watching, you either have nothing else to do or you're nuts or you just love me. And I'm going to say that you must just really love me because I love you too. And I know my parents aren't watching, so I want to say thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Kenny, is there anything else that we should talk about? Does anybody have any questions? I mean, I'll answer like one or two. Oh, Jackie. Okay, so Lady J. Crafty is Jackie. I'm not gonna remember though, Therese. So I'm thinking like Therese has her name as her, as her um, login name. I'm almost thinking I'm gonna try to convince you girls to write, to make your, put your name in your, um, in your YouTube name somehow. So I can be able to say your name. Cause I wanna be able to say your name. You know what I mean? Like, cause I wanna be your friend. Um, the coolest thing in the world is if I could see you. Because how many of you are in your pajamas right now? I am actually not. I'm in my leggings. See? See? I'm in my leggings. But um, how many of you are in your pajamas? I usually work in my pajamas. Because did you know I work from home? I work from home. Ken works at the office, and I work from home. That's why we're still married. Right, baby? <laughs> uh, let's see. Gallery question. Do you have a gallery question? Oh, you guys are so sweet. You're saying I love you. Um, I'm a diehard member too. Yes, we love you. Oh, thank you. Love you too, Dragonfly Dreams. Um, somebody's cooking. Ooh, what are you cooking? Um, you're new to making cards, Tony. Well, awesome. I hope you check out our videos. We have a ton of free videos on our website. I have never, I haven't counted lately, but there's got to be at least 400 on our website. Oh, somebody point, can't, somebody's driving. No, you're not driving. You pull over right now if you're driving. <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> um, somebody, Cheryl says it's too early for pajamas. Cheryl, are you kidding? After church, I come home. We go to the late service at church. So church ends like at 1. By the time we get home by 3, my goal is to be in my pajamas by 3.15. Because <laughs> I work from home. That's why. Um, still um, in my work, your, your um, nickname is VP. Oh, you're a vice president. Well. Stamping Kitty. I like that. Can't wait to see you in Novi, Michigan. You've taught me so much. Love you guys. Such a darling couple. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think we should probably go because chicken soup. Yum. Homemade chicken soup. Um, oh, somebody's just in their towel. Don't tell me too much. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. I love you. This is so much fun. We're gonna have to do this again. So if you're just joining us, make sure you um, subscribe to our channel and there's like a little special spot that can say it has what did it look like Ken it was like a little bell or something that said um click on that so you get notifications because we're hoping you get notifications because we're going to do this randomly just to test our cameras and to test everything make sure you sign up for our first on live ever our first live online class event we're going to send you a kit worth sixty-four dollars. The class costs eighty-nine ninety-nine. We're gonna have a two and a half hour event. We're gonna have prizes during the event. You get the sixty-four dollar kit sent to you. So while I'm doing it, while I'm teaching you what to do, you can do it at the same time. So literally, it's almost like you're in 
my home office with me, my craft room, which is really cool. So we're gonna be doing this huge event, we're gonna be having raffles, we're gonna have sneak peeks, and the, um, you cannot purchase the other products that are in this kit, in the class, unless you sign up for the class. If you cannot make it to the class, that's okay. We're gonna tape it, so you're gonna get a special link. Only people that buy the class, not everybody, only the people that buy the class are going to be able to sign up for, are going to be able to see the video. You can watch it over and over and over and over again. And you're going to be able to create while I'm creating. So that's something to think about. Um, I did think of one other thing before I thought of that, and I was going to say it. Um, The next time we do a live event like this on YouTube, just a, just a fun, crazy one like this, we're going to try to schedule it so maybe um, people can see more, more people can see it because we're, we're testing that as well. And, um, oh, Meg said she turned on her iPad and was told immediately that I was live. Sweet, Lucy. Um, oh, she says that her and her husband are ministers. Oh, wait, and we will pray for you to get some rest. Thank you, Lucy. Yes, I hope I get some sleep tonight. Yeah, I, the, I, I just get so much going on in my mind and, and I know that I can either do one thing, I can pray and lay there and pray and sometimes I do and then sometimes I fall back to sleep or um, I can just get up and today I just got up. But yes, thank you. Um, oh, somebody's coming, C. Daly is coming to see us in Anaheim. How much is it? Um, the online class is $89.99. That includes the $64 kit. We're sending you an extra large stamp set it's a double size, you've never seen that size from us before, an extra large die set and other goodies that we're gonna use in the class. And you cannot get those products any other time unless you're buying it for the class, which is really exciting. Uh, let's see, oh, thank you, Teresa. God bless you too. Um, uh, Dragonfly Dream said, almost missed this, just finished you 30 second card and found you here. And I, I now clicked the bell, awesome. Yeah, so click that little bell on your YouTube so you get notifications when we're live. And I just wanna say thank you so much for joining me. We've been on for 46 minutes and a lot of you have been on since the whole time and I just wanna say thank you. I mean, that, that honestly, I, I just need you to know that that means a lot to me that you would spend 45 minutes of your day with me because I know I'm nuts. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I hope to see you in the next couple weeks in all these places that we're going. And sign up for our live event because that's going to even be more exciting. And I'm going to, oh, I'm going to teach you in the online class. This is what I wanted to tell you. In the online class that we're doing for $89, I'm going to teach you techniques I've never shown before, okay? So it's not like if you watch 10 of my videos, you'd learn everything in that class. No, no, no. It's all new techniques, okay? It's new stuff you've never seen from me. So go check it out. It's called Dream, um, Dream Big online live event. Thank you so much and I will see you again soon. Bye bye. Now don't forget to really hit